Hey Virgo, it's God is Puff and this is your next 48 hours for December 23rd to the 24th of 2021. Let's get into it Virgo with an Oracle card message for Virgo. Next 48 hours for my Virgos. What does Virgo need to know for December 23rd to the 24th of 2021? What does Virgo need to know for the next 48 hours Spirit? Thank you Spirit. All right, let's see, let's go. I'm thinking about Mario, like the old Mario. We have nine Phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? It's making me think of Jaquan Phoenix from um, the Joker. We have 13. Also a four lioness. You've earned all your stripes. Oh my God, I'm getting so much for you. That's making me think of the lion babe, the artist. I'm getting like movies, songs, all that. <laughs> we have 41, which is a five. Another, yeah, we have four and five. Sundress, do it for you. You're about to be having a lot of fun in the next 48 hours, Virgo. We have 10 red forgive. So definitely root chakra. And um sacral. And yeah, sacral chakra and root chakra. Those two. Orange and red. I feel like you're going to be letting go of like a rock. A lot of repressed energy that's held you down. Maybe for 10 years, 10 months. Or 10 weeks, whatever, 10 days. There's been a rock holding you down. Something's been holding you down for a long ass time. You're letting it go now. The overall energy is red for gift. So if there's any grudges or anger or anything that's been holding you down or holding you back, it's time to let go and forgive. Not for the other person, but for yourself. Because holding on to a grudge is like drinking poison and, and expecting the other person to die. Not going to happen. You're only making yourself upset. You're only holding yourself back. So forgive but not for the other person for you because we have lioness you've earned all your stripes there's no need to keep fighting this war and it's only happening within you it's only holding you back you've earned all your stripes you don't need to fight anymore you don't need to fight for this anymore you're good you're done whatever you decide to do from this moment on make sure it's only for you and when we have how's that for after the ever after i feel like people have tried to tell you how your story was going to end and how your life was going to go or how this situation was going to go telling you you're going to be bitter forever you're going to be stuck this that and the third yada 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 that's not how it's going to go your your story in particular virgo or people watching this it may happen for other people but it's not going to happen for you you are free to end your story how you want because people are going to tell you i feel like people have told you you're going to be locked into something forever or the, people have been trying to tell you how your life is going to go but that's not that's for them they've been speaking their own existence into fruition but not you you're free you've earned all your stripes you're not stuck you are free and you're like how's that for a happily ever after you're proving people wrong you're doing something for you and it's, it's ironic because like they try to tell you how things were going to end and it's not like you're proving them wrong on purpose you're not doing anything for them you're doing it for you you don't need to fight for this or prove anything to anyone you're letting these people places and things go you're free i just keep getting freedom and happiness like i feel like you're going to be really excited really euphoric in the next 48 so let's get into it and see the specifics for virgo Someone's trying to tell you how a relationship or a career or job or situation was going to end. December 23rd to the 24th of 2021 for Virgo. Next 48 hours for Virgo. One more shot for December 23rd to the 24th of 2021 for Virgo. Yes. Someone, thank you, Spirit. Someone tried to tell you how something was going to end. And it's like lightning. Things change very swiftly, very smoothly, very quickly for you. In the next 48, we have the Hermit card, Virgo. Your card comes out first, 100,000% of your energy. I love this for you. So major manifestations are happening now. Quick, rapid manifestations. So whatever you want, write it down. Think about it. Feel it. Breathe it. Be all into what you want right now. Write a list. Or what you want to come into fruition. It's going to happen now. Next 48. <laughs> we have the King of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be dealing with another Virgo as well. We have the Seven of Pentacles, long-term investment. So whoever you're dealing with, they want they want this forever. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Ooh. Okay, someone's very defensive about you. Ooh. Ten of Wands. <laughs> yeah, they're fighting for this. I feel like you're chilling. Again, you're chilling. You've earned all your stripes. This is you. You're chilling. There's someone else fighting to defend your honor, defend you, or defend this relationship with you. Because the Seven of Pentacles, we got two sevens showing up. 
We also got four and five and nine and 10. So we got four and five, nine and 10. Take that as you will. But it's like, this is a long-term investment. The seven of pentacles is a long-term investment. Right behind that is a seven of wands. Someone standing up for you and protecting you. So I feel like you're doing this for you. You focused on you. You're forgiving people, forgiving a situation, letting things go. You're good. There's, I feel like this is like a guardian angel. This king of swords, this, um, I almost said fire. For some of you, it could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, is fighting for you or defending you or protecting you. I keep getting defending your honor, defending your honor, defending your honor. I keep, keep, keep hearing that. They want me to say that so bad. <laughs> Over energy is 10 of wands. So there's a heavy burden being put to rest. Then you get the ace of pentacles, a stable new beginning of abundance. And then you get the nine of pentacles, wish fulfillment. And then the eight of wands. And then the full card, Aquarius. And then the eight of pentacles. And then the magician, which is Virgo as well as Gemini. And then justice, Libra. And then eight of cups. Everything is going in your favor. And then the universe, the world. Oh my gosh, miracles. I'm getting miracles for you, Virgo. Everything is going to go in your favor in the next 48 hours everything you want the main the only thing you need to do is let go and forgive as long as you forgive and let go of whatever it is that's burdening you right now and make sure and then this is ironic because when it says forgive do it for you when you forgive do it for yourself not the other person and that's five and ten literally oh my gosh <laughs> and then right behind that we have sun 11 paint that sun back into your sky so forgiveness is about you yourself letting go even if it's you forgiving someone else it's about setting yourself free from holding that grudge for the rest of your freaking life it's like a ball and chain holding a grudge like a ball and chain again it's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die clarify this for virgo there's someone out there defending your honor in the physical though someone out there uh, standing up for your name or standing up for you or fighting for this it's like they protect you in this relationship so you don't have to deal with the brunt of the situation there's an air sign aquarius Libra, gemini or it could be another virgo could be any sign defending your honor or you're having to forgive this person or they're forgiving you clarify this for virgo clarify this message for my virgos please spirit make it plain and clear and specific for virgo please and last one Please clarify this message. Thank you. All right, clarifying the Hermit is the Three of Swords. Wow. How that for a happily ever after? And then the Nine of Swords. So someone could have like, um, yeah, someone talked down on you. Or if they if there's someone who left you, it could be just air sign, Aquarius, but Gemini. They could have broke your heart or had you in like a lot of Ooh, I almost said third parties. They could have had you in a lot of third parties or anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights. And it's like someone tried to place that on you and it got put back on them because we have um how's that for a happily ever after? It's like what someone intended to happen to you. It, I feel like it does not go that way. Because clarifying your card, the Hermit, is the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like you've had, like, you were intended to have a heartbreak or, like, the anxiety, worry, depression. And it does not go that way. Because we have forgiveness. So, I feel like somebody put you through this. Clarifying the King of Swords is the Ace of Wands. Ugh. In the world card, yeah. So there was a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There was someone who intended to like. It's like they thought they thought with the Ace of Wands, like the physical sex, like it's like a lot of third. I I don't know why I'm sorry to deliver it like that, but it was like a lot of third parties or someone cheated or something like that. Someone intended to like make you miserable. But it, it doesn't go that way because it's like, again, how's that for a happily ever after? Maybe you intended to be with this person forever and it doesn't go that way. But also, I feel like someone intended to like ruin you and it does not go that way. Clarifying the seven of pentacles is the hanged one, Pisces. And the chariot cancer, yeah, instead of like, in, instead of investing in it or making it worse, you move on. Also, let me keep going. Clarifying the seven of wands is the eight of swords. Yeah, you over someone's like analysis paralysis. Someone keeps trying to throw things at you to keep you stuck. Seven of cups. That's what I'm saying. I just said that. Someone's trying to throw things at you to keep you stuck and confused. 
overall energy is the death card scorpio yeah you're you're ending that it's an end to that two of swords high priestess queen of swords justice king of wands ace of Ooh, there's a fire sign coming towards you or it could be an air sign so it's an aries leo sagittarius or a fire sign aquarius Libra, gemini for some of you would say scorpio or cancer or, you know i feel like it's a um a fire sign or an air sign but for some of you obviously it could be pisces or a um, cancer or scorpio Ooh, excuse me. Because it's like, you. I feel like you were intended to be heartbroken. You were intended to have anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights. But it does not go that way or you brush it off. Because someone like tried to manipulate you and keep you in this fog. But then you have someone new that comes in. I feel like it could be, an, again, an air sign. Aquarius with Gemini because they're coming with the Ace of Wands and the World card closing out a cycle. So maybe um, someone here could be a little sexually frustrated. <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe you've been working too hard and this person is trying to give you a break. Because I feel like, yeah, you've been like stressing, Virgo. Basically, you've been stressing. Whether you're in a relationship or not, it's been a lot of like, I keep saying the same thing repetitively, but it's like anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights. Your heart's been broken. Like you, you're you very jaded about relationships or work. It's something to do with relationships or work. You're very jaded about that. And then here comes this air sign who put that thing down. <laughs> okay. Or it could be a Scorpio. Someone, if you get the Ace of Wands. All right. I'm just saying. And then you get the World card. And this is coming from the King of Swords. And once you get that, you got a little more optimistic. You resting. You're like, okay, yeah, you're right. You know, I've earned all my stripes. So the pinnacle, I've earned all my stripes. I put in the work. I'm good. And then you the hanged man. You're just chilling. And then you may go somewhere. They may take you out. They may pick you up. They may take you somewhere. I feel like someone is defending your honor. Seven of Wands. They, they're like, don't worry about it. I got you. Seven of Wands. They, they're like, I got you. And with the Eight of Swords and Seven of Cups, you, you over here confused. Relax. You don't need to fight. You got somebody coming in to fight for you. All right. Now, it's going to be a different story for everyone, obviously, because one story, one side of the story was like a third party or someone being messy as hell. Because I feel like you're very jaded from past experiences or situations. It's going to be a different timeline for everyone. But this is culminating in the next 48. So someone is going to come towards you. And I feel like this, as another person involved, I feel like someone is very jaded in this situation and someone's going to change that in the next 48. Someone is going to change your respect, um, your um, perspective about relationships, about life. In the next 48, your perspective and um, about relationships and life are going to be changed by another person with the death card. Your, your, yeah, someone's going to come make you see things differently in the next 48. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, she has bracelets, rings, and sun catchers, and she does commission work. A link for her Etsy is down below. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.